Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and you guys are watching another video from our Art of War video series. And what this video series is about is we talk about strategies that were taken from the book The Art of War, right? So The Art of War is a strategy book in war that was written hundreds of years ago. And a lot of people have taken these strategies and also actually applied it to their lives, especially in business and in marketing and sales. A lot of the most successful business people out there will tell you that one of their favorite books that helped them create success is this book right here, right? And so you guys have to understand that if these successful people are already using the strategies into their business, into their, their own life, what are the things that you can learn as well? Okay, so in this excerpt right here from the book, it says victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. So what are they really talking about here? What they say is successful business people, successful people in the home health industry, is they create wins before they go out there and market. While there's other people out there who others unsuccessful or agencies that are staggering, right? Who decide to just go out there, market blindly, and then hopefully figure out what they need to do to win. So one thing we do here in Home Health Success Academy is that we give you guys so many different ideas, techniques, and tips to be able to create success for your company. What we're doing here is we're preparing you for the potential things that you're going to be facing out there. So we have this video series called Home Health Marketing Mistakes, where we have over 50 videos of the mistakes that a lot of agencies have done and stuff that I've experienced myself and share that with you to be able to prevent you guys from facing the same mistakes, right? We, if we can learn, what happens is, right, when we do something and we, we, we do something wrong and we have a mistake, we learn from those mistakes, right? But imagine if you can shorten that by learning already and not experiencing those mistakes, but learning from other people who had those mistakes. So you're always going to be one step ahead. Our goal here at our company is to be able to get you guys one step ahead and not experience the pain of making those mistakes and to see what you can do to help you guys create success by mimicking and following other agencies that had have that has success because they've done something right and so the wins that you should have before you start going to the war the war is the part of you marketing out there and getting these referrals is that setting up your company to be ready so that whatever you say when you market out there when you promise what you're going to do that the company is actually going to be doing it Right? So if we're talking about clinical, you know, have a good clinical team. Have, your DON should know the business, the industry, what to do you know, when they face certain things. The staff in the office should be able to know how to handle the in, inbound phone calls, how to be able to you know, take care of the referral sources that you're having. Your nurses should be trained so that they can actually make sure they provide the right care to the patient, to make sure the patient stays longer at the comfort of their homes, to make sure the patient doesn't go back to the hospital when they get admitted to you. Create those small wins first and then create your programs and strategies on how you're going to market. Make sure you have everything that you need so you don't make any other internal objections on why you're not winning and not getting referrals. You should train your marketers out there with everything that they need to have. They need to be trained. They need to practice, drill, and rehearse to know how to be able to respond to physicians if a physician says, we're already working with another agency. If a nursing home discharge planner says, we don't have any patients right now. Or if a administrator for a nursing home says, I don't have time to speak to you right now. Your team needs to be ready to win. And how do you win this small stuff? Train in there and have all those plans implemented. Then go out there and market your company because then now you're solid in your core. There's a lot of people out there that don't even research. They're, they're clinicians. They start a home health agency thinking that patients are just going to come. If you build it, they will come. If you think it, it's going to happen. No, it's creating actions right now. 
and making sure that what actions you do when you're marketing out there is the right actions. A lot of people say knowledge is power, but my, my question to that is this. What if you got the wrong knowledge from the wrong person? Then that's not going to be powerful at all because you're doing the wrong thing. So looking at this particular excerpt from the book, you need to first create small wins into your organization and then go out there and market it and win the war rather than you going slowly and experiencing all the pains because you did not prepare yourself to face potential defeats. No one has ever won a war by winning all the battles. You don't have to win all the battles to win the war. So you need to be able to just create the small victories, the wins, the ones that you can actually secure, the ones you can actually do and handle, the ones that you can control. So I want you guys to be able to think about that. What are the small wins that you should do that you should make sure actually occurs? I was speaking to a client earlier on today and they were having problem with referrals coming in. And he was saying, he's like, he was saying that they got a referral and the team in the office did not find out about that referral until five days later because they were using an e-fax, right? So the old way of faxing, right, was the, it, the paper comes out already printed, but a lot of agencies were saying we're wasting a lot of paper, a lot of toner, so we should use these e-faxes. It's a lot easier. It, it downloads with a PDF. We can email, fax it. We can do whatever. But what ends up happening is think, things can get stacked over and you're not seeing a couple of the reports or a couple of the faxes going through. So they tried to win by saving paper and toner, but then they lost this potential referral. And if you don't take care of that referral, guess what? You might, you, you might lose the referral source. So thinking about that problem, it's a small problem. We're going to face a new problem. The problem before was wasting paper and toner. Now the problem is we're not seeing all the reports or all the faxes. So what would be a strategy that are you thinking right now, if you guys can think with me, that you can create so you can have a win in this small problem? So what would you do at this matter, at this problem, if you were told that you had this problem? So my advice to my friend was this. I said, listen, guy, what you need to tell your company is this. You need to have two e-faxes. Why is that? One e-fax is just for inbound referrals. This is the fax you're going to send and give to all your referral sources and say from now on, any referrals will come through this email. Will some of referrals still come in the old email? Of course they will. It's going to happen. So you still want to monitor that. But now, by you training and educating your referral sources, start e-faxing everything to this one e-fax, which one e-fax is cheap. You can get an e-fax for $9.99 a month and get 1,000 pages sent to you a month. It's not that expensive. And I'm sorry to say one referral that comes in will take care of that fee right there. So by creating that small victory, that small win, it allows you to be able to win the war. What other things do you guys have right now that you guys can create a small win? I want you guys to start thinking about that. Have meetings, talk with each other, find out what the problems you're facing within your company and create small victories to be able to solve those. Because if your core of your business is not structured correctly, eventually your company will break. And that's the last thing that you guys want to have. So I hope this video can help you guys out. Always know that home health marketing is easy when you know what you're doing. My name is Michael with Home Health Success Academy. Stop by our website, homehealthsuccessacademy.com or 10xpatientreferrals.com. Our job is to be able to create a successful company for you your coworkers, your family members, and especially for your patients. 
anything you guys need, we're here to be able to help you guys out. We look forward to keep on talking to you. And hopefully one day we get to meet you and you guys can attend one of our live seminars that we're having all over the U.S. every year pretty much. So find out when's the next one coming to your area.